This is an instructional video on how to write a main, um, main thesis question or, or main research question. Okay, so here's the deal with the main research question. It's the only question you're allowed to answer in your research paper. In our case, we're researching the whole concept of in Christ and each of you is looking at one or two books written by Paul. And therefore, your research question is going to have something to do with the book you're studying. Now, I'm studying the book, the Gospel of John and 1 John, so I'm not overlapping with you. So first of all, my subject of my question is the Gospel of John. Obviously, the subject of your question is going to be quite different from that. It's going to be whatever book you're studying. Okay? So that's the first part of this. It's my, that's my subject, the Gospel of John. All right. What about the Gospel of John am I studying? Well, I'm studying in the Gospel of John um, how Paul's use of an Christo, excuse me for not writing in the Greek, but I don't have, I don't, I don't know how Dr. Herb does it with the Greek alphabet on the typing. I've never done that before. So anyway, there you go. How Paul's use of in Christo is similar to John's theology in Gospel of John and First John. Actually, there's a lot there. It's it's surprising how much is there. So my subject is the Gospel of John. My study is something to do with how Paul's use of in Christo is similar to John's theology in the Gospel of John. Now remember, my 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 main research question has to be the only question I'm answering in my paper. Every other question that I'm going to be answering in my paper is really going to be answering my main question. That's the deal with the main research question. So you, I can promise you, you spend more time figuring out your main research question than you do a lot of the rest of your paper. If you have a lousy main research question, as I said in the paper I gave you, you're going to have a lousy, probably going to have a lousy research paper. That main research question is really important. If I said, what is, no, what similarities and differences do we find in comparing the Gospel of John and first, John, with Pauline letters in reference to Paul's use of and Christo, sorry, and Christo and related constructions. Okay, let's look at this sentence. What similarities and similarities and differences do we find in comparing the Gospel of John and 1 John with Pauline letters in reference to Paul's use of en Cristo and related constructions? Ah, uh, that's a little bit wordy, but a main research question can be that way because you're asking a very specific question that is big enough that will cover whatever you're going to do in the paper. So what am I going to do in this, this paper? First of all, I'm going to look at similar, similar passages in John that seem to reflect Paul's theology of en Cristo. And since we talked about nine categories, eh, we, we probably have another three categories we need to stuff in there, we decided in class. So, hmm. So I'm going to say, are there verses in 1 John or in the Gospel of John that seem to talk about the locative sense as far as Christ goes. Um, 
we looked at abiding in Christ is that is that that the you know how does that fit into that which category does that fit into and as we go through each one of these we begin to realize there's a lot of similarity between it and so I'm going to be answering that by looking at the categories that we have in Campbell chapter 12 and what we've also found ourselves and I'm going to say do I see those categories in the Gospel of John and 1st John and the answer is I do so what I'm going to do then so that part of it is there for sure so then the second question is are there differences well maybe there are I would have to make sure that my paper not only saw the similarities but also saw the differences if there are differences one is that sometimes he just he actually says in me he actually says that but most of the time he doesn't so that's one difference right away it, the difference is going to be that the theology is there but the phrase is not and of course we wouldn't expect it to be so is this question big enough to cover all the questions that I'm going to be dealing with I think it is so what I'm going to do if I were to write this paper I'm going to depend upon Campbell to give me those nine categories and then plus whatever extras we think and then what I would do is I would find all of the verses that seem very similar and I would examine those and figure out what category do they fit into and I would do the same thing I'd look at the context before it, the context after it I would look at any syntactical clues that might give me an idea and then what I would do is I would say which category did this follow, fall into isn't that exactly what we did in our project thus far so which category does this fall into and then when I'm talking about the differences I'm going to look at those same verses and all of that but I'm going to notice is there any difference more than the obvious difference which is the fact that in John um, he doesn't say and Christo obviously and so what do we see in John that would be different okay I hope that makes sense so my main research question is going to be clear as clearly written as possible it has to have good English and it has to cover every question that I'm going to be asking as I go through this paper and by the way it's not a question unless it has a question mark you cannot have a question without a question mark and if I get them and I always do I get them in America I'll get them in Pakistan if I get a, if I get a main research question without a question mark it's like half credit right there right from the start because it has to be a question okay so if you have any questions about this please feel free to ask me